Hello, welcome back to the Eaglecraft YouTube channel. Got another good treat for you. This is a 38 foot cruiser uh, with our trailable beam package. Make it very nice and easy to trailer. So I wanna walk you through that today. If you please don't mind, please like and subscribe our videos. It gets us excited to do more for of these kind of videos for you boat lovers. So what we're gonna do is quickly walk through this boat uh, for, for some of you that just wanna see the important features. And then for you real boat lovers that wanna see kind of behind the scenes, more detailed stuff, we'll spend a little bit more time kind of walking the boat in reverse. So if we look at the exterior of the boat, of course, this boat is on a trailer. So the 30 foot cruiser is the largest in our portfolio that we've designed to be specifically trailerable with the trailable option. So we made sure the beam's trailable for whatever state or province that, that you live in. The, the mast uh, is designed to be able to fold down to, to meet uh, requirements. Uh, you can see on this boat, we have our removable ladder uh, to make the access to the cabin roof very easily accessible. And of course, this boat has been stored with us for the last couple months. I thought this was a great opportunity to show you guys what an Eaglecraft looks like after it's been built six months later and uh, has all the customers' belongings on board. So you can really see how he's kind of laid out the boat and is using the boat for him. So if we make our way aft, you can see the, the triple Yamaha 300 horsepower um, package. Uh, this is one of the more popular propulsion packages for the 38-foot cruiser. Uh, but of course we will install uh, mercury outboards and on the diesel side of things, the boat is designed to have uh, twin diesel stern drives from, from Volvo Penta. Now, of course you can see there our extended swim grid to kind of wrap around those engines that, that we build in. And we'll quickly hop on board and, and go over kind of the business end of the boat. So you got three uh, rod holders built in, uh, really one's a net retainer, two rod holders outboard uh, to meet this customer's needs. Of course, that's one of the things that we custom build in house for all our owners. And then of course, here's kind of the, the business end of the boat. And I've already lifted up the storage hatch just to make life a little bit easier. You can see this customer's got uh, a Northern Lights generator on the port side and then right center of the storage we've installed a 12 volt uh, cooler that is removable so if you didn't need that for whatever trip a um, couple straps and that thing comes right out of place and then of course you see the the battery system on board and we'll dive into that a little bit deeper for people that want to hang out a little bit longer and then of course built into the transom we have additional storage below and then we have a fish box uh, built in with uh, overboard discharge so lift that up this customer is using it for storage. And then of course we have the burrowing system installed. Uh, we're primarily using on this boat uh, for um, the fish cleaning table. And then you can see our side door that we built into our boats. Typically, you know, the boats in the water, um, but I wanted to show you what it looks like out of the water on the trailer in this particular video. Uh, but nine times out of 10, that's how we hop on board our boats when they are in the water. Then of course you can see our nice staff helm. Uh, this one has the electronics box up. Uh, we have designed the aft console so we can install electronics down if that meets your needs better. And then this boat, we did install uh, two tackle uh, drawers here in the back with locks. Then of course we built in some nice easy steps to access the gunnel. And you can see there, we do have a davit on board for the tender. Then we make our way into the cabin. This boat uh, has optioned with our walnut package. Um, some of our other YouTube videos, if you wanna check out our channel, uh, features our cherry finish. Uh, so these are kind of our two most popular interior packages. That said, if you want something different, just let us know. We're a custom boat builder. So we work with you to get the exact look you want. Um, this boat is also equipped with our L-shaped settee. So you can see what that looks like. And of course the table does lower and convert into a berth. And then after the settee, you have our quarter berth. Don't let uh, the camera fool you here. This is an absolutely massive space. You can fit two adults in here very comfortably. And of course, you have your own uh, lighting below. Uh, we try to put 12 volt outlets in, make things nice and neat. One of the options is we can completely enclose this with a hatch and a door to give you a little bit more privacy. 
And if we make our way over to the starboard side, you can see our galley package. So this is typical of what we install our boats. Uh, we build in a microwave uh, with some storage below, an electric cooktop, really nice side-by-side -side stainless steel fridge freezer, uh, additional drawer space. Um, we even build in uh, trash storage if you want. Now, of course, being equipped with a satellite uh, antenna, you can see the TV built in there. Yeah, I've pulled the carpet runner back. So this is access to additional storage in the floor uh, that basically continues where you see the quarter berth all the way underneath the, the galley there. Break way forward to our um, helm, very nicely equipped. Again, have the Garmin package installed. We're real big fans of, of Garmin here at Eaglecraft. It integrates really well with our Yamaha product, Volvo product, uh, and we can get it to work with the, with the Mercury installations as well. So if you're gonna ask our preference, we're gonna say Garmin. Doesn't mean we have to install Garmin. Uh, that's just what we're most comfortable with and, and feel like is the best overall package for most of our customers. But if you wanna do Simrad for Uno, let's, let's have a chat. Uh, we try to weigh out everything that uh, you need to access regularly right in front of you. Uh, very ergonomic. Um, have a Fusion stereo system built in on board. Um, binnacle for the engines, joystick, uh, grid remote, uh, battery switches. Uh, we have the controls for the generator all easily accessible here at the helm. And then, of course, our short power system. Uh, whether it's generator, shore power, or inverter, uh, we just make the breakers there for the major systems very easy to use. Try to simplify the systems on uh, most of our boats, 38 and below, we simplify them. Once you get up into larger boats, the, the capacity to add systems makes the little, uh, systems a little bit more complex, but we try to simplify them as much as possible. Now, of course, we have access to behind the scenes there. You'll see the breaker, or excuse me, the fuses. We'll go a little bit more into detail there. Now, of course, we have our helm seats, nice and comfortable, fully adjusted, um, both uh, for the captain and what I often call the admiral. Uh, so with the L-shapes of T, we typically only install one. The other option, if you don't like the L-shapes of T, is a dinette. Um, so that would be two bench seats uh, looking at each other, fore and aft. And when we install that, we put two suspension seats side by side. And of course, we make our way forward into the uh, forward stateroom. You can see a very nice size, queen size berth on center line. Access to the berth around both sides. Plenty of storage uh, underneath the gunnel. And then we have hanging closets, his, hers, uh, on, on each side. And then, of course, on the starboard side here, spin the cabin or camera around for you. You can see the head with sink, vanity, uh, and quite a bit of storage there. And then on the port side, we have a nicely built in shower. So that's a quick walkthrough of the 38 foot cruiser with the trailer bolt option. Uh, for you guys that wanna see more details, hang out with me here and I'll give you a little bit more uh, detailed walkthrough of the boat. So while we're here in the, the Ford stateroom, you can see uh, we have two reading lights, his and hers again. Uh, and in between that, we have our Eagle Craft logo. That hatch actually gives you access to the road and windlass. Uh, so typically, we install 300 to 400 feet of chain and anchor, or excuse me, chain and road. Um, but again, if you need a custom option on, on a windlass or, you know, you need 600 feet, let's have a conversation and see how we can accommodate you. And just the little things, show you the, the storage here built into the boat. Uh, again, the customers kind of moved in, so I want to show you one where you can actually see the size. So that is one of the hanging closets. Makes it nice and easy to use. And then, of course, underneath the, the berth, we put additional storage, make it usable space there. So we try to think of all spaces to, to kind of maximize storage area. And then just the little things, uh, the head, we use uh, fresh water to flush the system. And then majority of our heads are vacuum flush. Uh, we find that they're the most reliable and most importantly, they remove most of the odor. And that's just because they are literally a vacuum system. The, the waste gets sucked. So we find that that leaves very little residue to start having smells over time. Now, of course, quite a bit of storage built into a small space to try to make it nice and accommodating. Make our way uh, here back up to the helm. 
Again, with the satellite TV, uh, we've used that space for all the systems needed. Usually that's more storage uh, built in underneath the helm. Got a drawer there. Typically we can, uh, put the owner's manuals, safety kits, those kinds of things. So it's close and easily accessible by the captain. Again, just the little things. So on the L shapes of T, that's all storage. So we actually build a quick access hatch. So you don't have to mess with pulling cushions to get access to storage like some other manufacturers. Um, we can also show you too, just the little features that we build in. The boat comes built in with uh, trash built into the boat. And then you can kind of see behind the scenes there. We try to make all the systems easily accessible um to service things of that nature and then of course speaking of systems you can see how the fuses for the 12 volt system very easy to get to labeled nice and neat and that continues if you pull four screws this panel comes down gives you access to more systems if you ever need to service try to build in uh, rack storage for maps things of that nature um, captain gets his own little storage here and we'll make our way aft and I'll show you a little bit of the behind the scenes and additional storage in the boat so absolutely massive um, so you can see a few systems so all the way forward there that's the waste system um, and then we have a few other of the water systems on board but you can see it's just absolutely massive for storage um, so the customer's hardly even using this space. You'll also notice when I lift the hatch, light came on. We try to pull out automatic lights on all our big storage compartments. Just the little features like that, just to make the boat more usable. And, you know, just a testament to the Eagle Craft quality. Um, you know, all of our welder fabricators are CWB certified or Canadian Welding Bureau certified. So that means a third party comes in and checks the quality of our welds on at least an annual basis. And... Really, uh, that's this, one of the secret sauces behind Eolecraft is uh, just the, the commitment of the team to, to quality. And we find that bringing in CWB, you're not going to find that on most aluminum recreational boat manufacturers. And the reason is, is it's, it's challenging to, to get the systems in place. And more importantly, it's time consuming to continue to maintain that. Um, but we require it because we're still a commercial boat manufacturer and we feel it's important. And then you can also see just how overbuilt even just this hatch is. So we're using the same hatch system that we'd use on a large engine hatch on the aft deck. And we just shrink it down for the storage hatch. But, you know, we're committed to providing safe, durable boats. And, you know, this hatch is just a part of that uh, um, methodology. Then we'll make our way aft and I'll point out some additional features of, of the Eelcraft boat here. So... We'll go back into the storage compartment, kind of give you a quick walkthrough of some of the systems back here. So you can see the 12 volt system. So these are um, battery switches that aren't used as frequently at the main helm. You may have noticed there are remote battery switches. That's typical on most of our recreational boats. And then we uh, add a few back here that aren't switched nearly as frequently that are back here. So one is for the inverter and the other is for the generator. And then back in the corner there, you'll see the start batteries and then the house battery system that is on board. And we make our way aft. Again, still wiring's all very nicely, neatly done. Um, and then you'll see the systems for the generator, uh, raw water uh, coming in and exhaust going out. Uh, and then actually the, the Northern light system there. Again, this storage compartment's lit too. We even go down to the detail of installing checker plate or diamond plate in the aft deck storage is just to be nice and reliable and don't have to worry about uh, anything failing with that checker plate uh, and makes it really easy to add things and you know a couple screws and that all comes up if you need to get access to things so again another thing that separates us is you can see that massive trough all the way around the hatches so one of the biggest customer uh, questions is how does the aft deck drain so the majority of the water actually drains around this trough system and that exits overboard underneath the, the swim grid. Now, of course, if that wasn't enough drainage, in each corner of the boat, we have massive overboard discharge drain built in. 
And then of course this other hatch has got a similar drainage system all the way around it. This is access to the fuel tank on the, on the outboard boats. This is where we locate the fuel system. And then of course on the diesel stern drive boats, uh, we kind of switch positions. Engines are where the storage compartment, storage compartment uh, is now forward where the fuel tank is in the outboard boat. And then the fuel tank in the diesel boat is forward underneath the uh, quarter berth and storage area. And finally, I just wanted to show you kind of the, the davit system and what makes this boat unique and still be able to trailer while still being able to carry a, a tender on board. So being trailable, uh, we've designed our own in-house simple davit system. It's hinged, pulls down on the cabin roof. This is designed to be under trailable height. And then of course, when the davit is up here, it fits nice and neatly into those chocks. And you can see how the ladder there attaches to the cabin roof. If you need a, if that one's not installed, we do install fold down access for, for quick access. Plenty of storage space up here on the roof. Uh, for your trap traps, uh, kayak as you see here. And then of course that mast is designed to be able to fold down for trailer. Uh, so it's as simple as undoing two clasps and uh, basically just pulling that mast forward towards you and it folds down out of the way, forward. And it's even just down to the little details. Over the years we've realized, hey, uh, let's, let's do a little bit better on our drainage. Uh, so we've built in a very nice drain here uh, for the entire uh, roof area and put a screen over it, try to keep some of the debris out of it. And what you're seeing here is basically this drain goes all the way down the inside uh, there and then it comes right out here. So absolutely massive drainage for this huge area, which is really important here for the Pacific Northwest. So with that, it about wraps up our tour of our 38 foot cruiser. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, social media, or give us a call. Our White Hunter number's there in the description. Or you can always check out our website, uolcraft.com, to find out more information about this 38 foot cruiser or any of our uh, sizes, 34 to 47 feet. We look forward to hearing from you soon.